two massive decisions in the Chelsea v Liverpool game. Chelsea thought they had scored not once but twice. First chance fallen to Reese James, who struck a sweet volley into the corner. VAR later decided that Enzo Fernandez was offside. My issue is how quickly the assistant referee raised his flag. Liverpool's defender headed the ball out towards the edge of the box where James was waiting. Whilst the ball was mid-air, the assistant raises the flag. This is going to catch the eye of the goalkeeper. James strikes it, scores, later disallowed for, for offside as was stated. However, when we look at how tight this offside was, if it wasn't offside, it's literally a few centimetres. If this wasn't offside and Fernandez's knee isn't ahead of Canate's foot, there's going to be question marks over the assistant raising his flag that early. They are told, wait until the full phase has completed before raising your flag. This is why. Moving on, Chelsea then scored again to then have it disallowed again by VAR. <clears throat> this one's a little more clear cut. Havertz runs through, tries to dink it over Allison, comes back off Allison on the Havertz and into the net. Chelsea thinking they had scored had run off celebrating. VAR then seen that it came off his arm. With the arm originally in an outstretched position coming into the chest, that is a movement of the arm towards the ball. Whether it's intentional or not, the movement goes from outside to inside towards where the ball is. The fact that it hit his arm deems that irrelevant anyway because you can't score straight from a handball. Chelsea, desperately unfortunate, very, very unlucky against a bang average Liverpool team.